Well, I'm Kenny Lowry, and today we're going to take a look at the cylinder coral jar. Now, this coral is the finish. It refers to the finish that's on here. This is a very popular finish for us. It's a coral finish. You've seen it elsewhere on some of the other jars on the website. It is a very popular finish. And I think the reason that is it has that rough texture, which means it's going to blend in with rock, uh, hardscapes, rock walls, uh, walls that are maybe stucco walls, those kind of things. It kind of bridges the gap between uh, the boulders that we have uh, as fountains and also the glossy glazed urns. This is kind of an in-between. So it works well in just about any landscape, and I think that's one of the reasons it's popular. Uh, you'll notice, and I'll get up close with the camera here, there's a lot of different colors in this. I see yellow, teal, blue, uh, red, and there's a variety of colors. The reason being it's overglazed, and that overglaze then causes it to bubble. When it bubbles, it reveals the color that were glazed underneath, and then it's all sanded down to give it a somewhat smooth, although it is still a rough texture jar. Uh, it has that modern cylinder shape to it, and I'm seeing some sparkling even going up here on the top rim. And we'll take a, a close-up look right now, and you'll be able to see some of those colors yourself. You can see it's just a beautiful jar. It stands out, even though it's not a, a glossy glaze jar like some of our others. It does stand out. Now, you'll see that area at the bottom there. That's an area where we run our lights in. Everybody gets that light in the uh, top, so we have that run through at the very bottom of the jar, which you would hide with uh, pebbles and things. Uh, when you're when you're installing this or, and also put that kind of to the back uh, this color here is just beautiful uh, you see the way the water comes over the edge it kind of sparkles a little bit and that's because of that rough texture versus a smooth texture jar you won't get that action as much I think you can pick that up there in the camera and also get in there close on the sunny side here you can see some of those colors And the little sparkling, I can see it here. I'm not sure if the camera's going to pick it up, but see a little sparkling going up there on the top. That interior light would, in, would light up the plume of the water, and then up lighting on the outside is a must. Everybody gets the, the lighting kit anymore. Uh, we also put it together so that the interior light can work with the exterior light, and you can have a photo cell and timer then that will all work together. And it is consistent color all the way around. I won't go around because it's so dark on the back side, you're not going to really see it with the sun, when the sun's not hitting it. As always, if you have any questions, you can reach us at 540-948-2239 or email me, Kenny, at Southern Grace VA.